Good. My lords, when the Conservative Party came up with that absolutely brilliant slogan about take back control, I think we, well, many of us with whom it resonated actually felt that it meant that Parliament, our Parliament would be taking back control. But that's become, um, it's become obvious over the past year that that's not how the government sees it. In fact, the government is using Brexit as an excuse to take more control of the country, which of course is extremely undemocratic. And in this bill, it's actually trying to seize control from devolved governments and the devolved parliaments, which of course is, as the noble Lord Lord Cormac has just said, it's extremely unhealthy for the UK. And this bill actually um, pretends to replicate uh, what exists in EU law, but actually what it's done is created a sort of Frankenstein's monster, which is not at all what any of us were expecting. It's like a, a, a legal framework uh, creating a, a bureaucratic bulldozer that the government is going to use to grab more power. Now, uh, what is obvious is that this government can't win any seats in Scotland, Ireland, and Northern Ireland, and, uh, and Wales. And so what it's doing, in fact, is using this bill, using this bureaucratic bulldozer to force the elected governments of the devolved nations to fall in line with Conservative Party policy. Now, these amendments are important because they actually stop that undemocratic move. And without them, devolution will be replaced with a sort of lowest common denominator system where any policy or law that relates to the production, distribution and sale of goods and services in the UK will have to wait for the UK Parliament to take action before the devolved governments can take action. Now, this is clearly not what any of us expected. And the devolved parliaments must continue to have the right to make decisions on improving environmental standards and passing other legitimate policies that will benefit their nations. Your Lordship's House must amend this bill and prevent yet another government power grab and, of course, protect the rights of the devolved nations 